Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you are doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Max Verstappen, who only ended up qualifying 4th for the sprint. Now it wasn't really clear who was where heading into sprint qualifying, given there was only one practice session beforehand, but Red Bull looked quick in the dry, with them setting competitive times in the first two sessions. But then rain started to fall, and it really did change everything. Like that Red Bull did not look comfortable in damp conditions, with the car all over the place during the third session. And there were multiple occasions where Max just couldn't get the car under control and ran wide as a result, and it took him three attempts to get a competitive time on the boards, but it wasn't really on the pace at all, like the top three were between the 157s and 59s, while Verstappen was in the two minute region. So not the best session for him, and Verstappen said, I struggled a lot to get the temperature in the tyres, so that's why it felt very difficult for me to keep the car on track. It never really switched on for me, so it was just like driving on ice. That's why I think it's quite deserved where we are in qualifying. It was just not really working for me in the wet, even though I think in the dry we look quite good, so of course I'm quite happy with that. Now ahead of him for the sprint are Lando Norris, Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso, so that's quite a top three, and it's really three drivers who you wouldn't expect to see there. Like both McLaren and Aston Martin in the dry look behind Rebel and Ferrari, while Mercedes were absolutely nowhere. Like George Russell nearly got knocked out in SQ1, and then was knocked out in SQ2, only going 11th. Hamilton wasn't doing much better, but when the rain fell, out of absolutely nowhere he set the fastest time, so it was a really good lap, but Norris's was even better, with him being well up on everyone. But the time got deleted, with him going off at the final corner and crossing the white line with all four tyres. But it was clear that Norris did not gain any advantage, and McLaren team boss Andrea Stella estimated that Norris had lost at least three tenths by going off. In turn, race control manually reinstated the lap and restored his pole. Now there are two ways of looking at it, like one way is that if all four wheels are over the white line, the time gets deleted, as is usual procedure, but the other is that if doing so actually hinders you quite a bit, then maybe some leniency could be applied. So it's an interesting and new situation, like I can't remember a time an F1 driver went very clearly all four wheels over the white line, had the time deleted, and then it was reinstated. Like the only thing close is when Sergio Perez had a time reinstated in Hungary 2022, but that was because he did have his car within track limits, but a mistake saw his time get deleted. So as I say, it's an interesting situation, and it's one that cost Mercedes, with Lewis Hamilton losing pole as a result. But it seems Mercedes won't be protesting, with team boss Toto Wolff saying, I haven't seen that detail, I've just seen he has four tyres off track, but honestly that was even slower, so he could have probably gone faster, so I'm okay with that. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and until the next one, take care.